Thanks, uh, Ciarán Corla. Uh, parents of children with additional needs are battling for rights every day. So the current uh, setback is nothing new for them. One example of the ongoing battle uh, uh, additional needs children have is the 37A process for ASD classes in South Dublin, which was set in train by former Minister uh, McHugh and has now finished following the closure of the 37A process for ASD classes. No classes have been set up in Dublin 4 and Dublin 6 as a result of this process. And considering the enormous impact this is having on families in Ringsend, Milltown, Ranla, right across uh, Dublin 4 and Dublin 6, I believe there's an urgent need for a specific 37A process for Dublin 4 and Dublin 6. The absence of ASD classes is unacceptable. We have a situation now that there is no ASD classes in Dublin 4 or 6 after the 37A process. We know uh, what has to be done and the Minister needs to do it. Action and resources are needed. I've spoken to many uh, schools in Dublin 4 and Dublin 6 and they're willing to set up uh, ASD classes. What they don't want and what the parents of children with autism don't want is an autism class wedged into school that looks like an afterthought. Properly constructed and resourced classes needs to be, need to be installed and the funding needs to be invested in our children as a matter of urgency. This needs to be done so classes meet the needs of children with autism and are not just box ticking exercises. It seems that when it comes to children with autism and their education that any place will do. This can't be allowed anymore. ASD classes in Dublin 4 and Dublin 6 need to be resourced and open as a matter of urgency. The Minister talks regularly about inclusion, but unfortunately the reality is very different. Government has spent over 100 million last year just transporting special needs children out of their school, uh, out of their community, when they should be in their local school. There's no official figures from the number, for the number of children that are not receiving the education they require. The department and the NCSE have no idea how many children in Ringsend, Sandymount, Ranla, and like I say, right across Dublin uh, 4 and Dublin 6 and, uh, that need special education. And this is absolutely bonkers. We wouldn't let a new school or extension be built without wheelchair ramp and disabled access being installed. Why are schools being built that do not have ASD classes? How can we have an extension to schools and yet no additional ASD classes? I know the Minister has given commitments to change this, however, like many families and chil of children uh, with additional needs, I won't believe any commitments uh, until I see them delivered. What we, need now is, what we have now is educational apartheid, and we, what we, we must change that now, and we must change it uh, urgently. By any statistical measure, this is never truer than it is in Dublin 4 and Dublin 6. Will you, Minister, uh, initiate a 37A process specifically for Dublin 4 and Dublin 6 as a matter of urgency. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy. Minister Madigan. Thank you, Deputy Andrews, for your query. Um, yes, I mean, we, we issued uh, 39 notices to different schools under Section 37A of the Education Act um, uh, because it is important where there is a dearth of places in a particular area and I'm aware of the issues in, in Dublin 4 and Dublin 6 um, and the, these, these 39 schools, um, two notices of issues, we're now in the process um, of looking through their submissions and um, there are on-site inspections uh, taking place uh, regularly to collaborate with the schools and to see if that we can expand an existing school um, and just to say to you one of the very first things uh, that, that I managed to secure as the very first uh, dedicated minister for special education and inclusion is a commitment from the building unit in the department that every new school so every new school that's built from here on in will automatically provide uh, ASD unit and special class places and um, because we don't want to have this situation on a perennial basis you, the minister. NCSC just to conclude include Kian Corla is also developing a five-year forecasting model um, in relation to um, ensuring that we have the data that you that you speak of deputy um, so that we can establish where there is a lack of places. Thank you very forward. much.